Hey everybody, Joel Norton here, and today I am going to be reviewing the book The Horse, the Wheel, and Language uh, by David W. Anthony. Oh, let me pop it up here. Um, so I just read this about two weeks ago, and I kind of wanted to let it sit because it is a heavy read. Um, I a lot of times I enjoy history and stuff, but uh, for the most part, I stick with like um, on Audible the Great Reads. I think it's called or the Great Courses. I believe it's called, um, and that's really cool. They break down stuff uh, for history and stuff. And uh, when it comes for me personally, I like to. I make fantasy worlds and I am a fantasy writer. And when it, I go into building a world, I like to have some reinforcement of real world knowledge, whether it be, hist and, you know, for historical and like just how things worked back then. And obviously it's not a hundred percent accurate, I'm sure, but because things are always changing and they're always finding new discoveries. But um, I really like that stuff, the knowledge and so I pick up random books like this one. So that the full name of the book is The Horse, the Wheel, Language, and How Bronze Age Writers from the Eurasian Steps Shape the Modern World. And that is David W. Anthony, who wrote it. And it is a very heavy book, like I said. Um, the first half covers linguistics and phon phonology, I believe is the right word. Um, basically, it, they break down how language changes how sounds of language change uh and like it was that was really cool just because like the breakdown from like the 1900s for example to the 2000s how each word has changed and you can see this by reading older book like just jumping into that and that's it's really interesting how words change meanings and sounds change as well so the first part of the book is kind of breaking down linguistics and stuff like that Honestly, some stuff I never even contemplated, really. And for a world-building perspective and for fantasy, I think it was really cool. The second half of the book is more of the, like, explain, like, the nomadic um, settlers and stuff. Like, how this, how uh, they found, like, the horse, um, the uh, the ox-driven car, uh, cart, and some other random stuff like that. Um, that was really cool as well. But the first part of the book, I was really surprised. Not a big uh, linguistics or phonology guy. Um, I can barely talk as it is, well, let alone my handwriting is horrible. <laughs> so, no. Um, so I found it really interesting, though. Um, I'm going to break down the synopsis here for you guys before I tell you my final rating and stuff of what I'm thinking. Um, so it's roughly half the world's population speaks languages derived from a shared linguistic source known as proto-indo-european but who were these early speakers of this ancient mother tongue and how did they manage to spread it around the globe until now their identity has remained a tantalizing mystery to linguists archaeologists and even the nazis seeking the roots of the of the aryan race the horse the wheel and language lifts the veil that has long shrouded these original Indo-European speakers and reveals how their de domestication of horses and the use of the wheel spread language and transform civilization. So that kind of explains a little bit better, um, especially, you know, my explanations aren't great a lot of times. So um, going on here, linking prehistoric archaeological remains with developmental development of language. David Anthony identifies the prehistoric peoples of Central Euro Asia's steppe grasslands as the original speakers of Proto-Indo-European and shows how their inno innovative use of the ox wagon horseback riding and the warrior's chariot turned the Eurasian steppes into a thriving transcontinental corridor of communication, commerce, and cultural exchange. <clears throat> Excuse me. He explains how... They spread their traditions and gave rise to important advances in compromising warfare and patient client political institutions, thereby us hearing in an era of vibrant social change. Anthony also describes his fascinating discovery of how the wear from bits on ancient horse teeth reveals the origins of horseback riding. I also found that very fascinating how that how they could figure out stuff like that with the, the horse bits and stuff. Um, how the rub on the back of the jaw, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. But 
The horse in the language solves a puzzle that has vexed scholars for two centuries, source of Indo-European languages and English, and recovers the magnificent and influential influential civilization of the past. Um, for me, it's a five star. It's really heavy, and if you're not enjoying archaeology, archaeology, history, linguistics, stay away from the book. That's going to be my suggestion. Um, but if you like any of those things, even, you know, a little bit, I wouldn't, I would say not going and don't go into this with a, with a, like, if you're a very basic knowledge of ancient history, just because I feel like you might be lost. I could be wrong here. Um, for me, I have done several of the great courses on, uh, uh, the Mediterranean, the ancient Mediterranean, oh, excuse me, Mesopotamia. I'm going to double check this here, but yeah, no, I, I have done several of those. I've done like ancient Egypt, uh, some of the, like the Mongols. So, so I have a little bit of an idea going into it, but there was some stuff like completely new to me, uh, new like civilizations that they had talked about that I, that were really, they only had a little bit of info on. So it was really cool seeing those. Um, but all in all five stars for me, easy five out of five, uh, David W. Anthony, you kept me interested. Like I said, it is a heavy book, but uh, at the end of the day, I, I really enjoyed it, and I would definitely read more from him. So, yeah, that's a thumbs up for me, guys. Um, if you guys enjoy these reviews, do me a favor and uh, drop a comment down below um, and uh, and a like if you if you enjoyed it. And I will uh, try to make this more of a consistent thing. Um, as I finish a book, I'll just drop, hop on here. I'm not great with editing, as you can probably see, so I'm just going to wing it, but uh, I, I enjoy, you know, I think it's uh, kind of a fun idea. To, uh, I read probably a book every three weeks, and it could be ranged from fiction, thriller, you know, like the, the thriller, horror, fantasy, Lord only knows what, and then I've been doing a lot of the uh, history books like this and stuff, so it's kind of all over the place, so it could get real interesting. But if you guys uh, like the idea, you know, comment down below. And let me know what you think. Um, not really digging it. I, I get it. And I'll, I'll probably lay off these. But yeah, so that was my review for the horse, the wheel, and language. How Bronze Age writers from the Eurasian steppes shaped the modern world by David W. Anthony. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.